What is up enthusiasts, it is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today we are going to dig into my series talking about amusement parks and quite possibly some empty, obscure spaces that the park has. Spaces in the park that are currently unoccupied or used to occupy another ride but are currently vacant or abandoned. My purpose of this series is to do something realistic, my personal opinion on what could be the new replacement for this area that is vacant and once occupied something else. And in this series, I only look at the empty spaces that are not currently used at a park. And today, I'm going to be talking about Hershey Park. And ever since I created this series, I really wanted to do Hershey Park in the future. And here we are. So let's get right into it. This is going to be a little bit of a different episode, but... We'll get into that after the intro anyways. This is Cedar Flags and today we are going to replace Hershey Park's empty spaces and replace them with rides and coasters. So like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a little bit of a different episode. Now in my past installments of the series, I have briefly gone over several empty plots of land throughout the parks and these plots of land are often small. but. The main part of this video is going to be about one certain plot of land, and that is a brand new open spot. And that is what I want to start with today. So, to give a little rundown of the park's history, they had a completely different layout with an entrance next to a golf course, but in the late 2010s they had a major announcement that they would make one of the biggest changes in the park's history. This was Chocolate Town, a new area with a brand new coaster, Candemonium. Now the plaza opened up, Candemonium opened up, and the whole area is now a part of Hershey Park. But something I noticed when they were building this area is that there is still a lot of leftover space that they decided to tear down. And all of this is vacant now, there is nothing here. So I have to ask, are they going to add something here in the future? I mean, Candemonium looks like a very empty area right now, and I feel like once Hershey expands in this area, there is going to be a lot more. There is still a lot of room left to be desired. In fact, I measured it on Google Earth. There are still 24 acres left that are happen to be unused in this area. And I truly believe that in the future, there will be changes in this area. So let's look at what I personally think could replace this empty plot. First off, a path going through Candemonium. I predict eventually, throughout the years, they will try to make a loop around the B&M Hyper, completing the park's layout. Right on the screen right now, I want to show you what I think that would personally look like. The outline is the path that would go around Candemonium. I really think that this would be a great idea. It would add so many more area space to the park and make the park an even bigger destination. So, what would we put in this area? First off, the basics, shops and restaurants. Since it's by Candemonium, it would probably still be a part of Chocolate Town. But here's where we get into the fun of it. I truly believe that there will be a few things in this area that will change the park's trajectory forever. First off, there would be a mini family style area. Similar to Wildwood Grove at Dollywood, there would be a lot of educational things and many flat rides appealing to kids. But the main attraction here would be a Vacoma multi-launch. Now, when I mean a Vacoma family launch coaster, I mean something in a very similar style and fashion as Big Bear Mountain at Dollywood. The same model, but a slightly different version of the layout. Now, Big Bear Mountain is a very long and sprawling layout, and I would love to see this ride to be a little more compact and wrap over itself a certain amount of times. This ride would have very low to the ground elements, but be calm enough to appeal to people of all ages. The families will love it, the kids will love it, and the coaster enthusiasts will get a kick out of it as well. But this will not be the main point of the area. This would be a very well decorated area, it would be very developed, have a lot of buildings and of course a lot of trees, and then you have the centerpiece of the whole area. Near the back of the area, near the end of the loop, we would have a Vacoma Tilt Coaster. This Vacoma Till Coaster would be very similar to a ride like Circuit Breaker at Codaland. It would be one of two in the United States at the time and would be revolutionary. It would have a candy theme of course and would have a very compact layout with a certain amount of inversions. It would have only ejector airtime moments and be one of the most fast paced rides at the resort. Though this ride wouldn't be too long in duration, it would still have a great collection of inversions and airtime moments. Now, this is a reason why I picked up a Coma Family Launch for the first coaster because it could be a little bit of a bundle. Two coasters for a smaller price. So, they have worked with Vacoma in the past, why don't they do it again? 
seeing both of these rides, both of a Coma Family Launch and of a Coma Tilt, would be incredible. They would both add something to the Hershey Park collection. With the Vacoma Family launch, you would have a multi-launch at the park, and you would have a launch coaster that appeals to kids. And with the Till Coaster, you would have one of the most unique coaster concepts in the world. I think without a doubt in my mind, this area with Candemonium, the Vacoma multi-launch, and the Vacoma Till Coaster, this would be one of the most popular areas of the park, and would probably make Hershey Park an even bigger and more well-respected park. The thing I love about Hershey Park is just when you think they are done, they aren't, and they continue to add over and over again. So, before we end off the video, I want to talk about another set of spots that I think could be occupied in the near or far future. First off, I want to look at the old carousel building. Now, if you don't know, when Chocolate Town opened up with Candemonium, they also built a brand new pavilion for the carousel. And this carousel, prior to this major expansion, used to operate in the main midway under another pavilion building. But for a reason I'm not 100% sure of, they decided to move the actual merry-go-round and keep the carousel pavilion still there. And as of right now, this area is definitely a little neglected, I could say the least. If you go under this pavilion, which once used to house a very historic carousel, there are now a few claw machines and a few benches that aren't really used. And so... I really think that something will replace it, and this area will be re-enlightened. So, what do I think will happen? Well, originally I thought a new ride would be here, but this pavilion is way too iconic. I say turn it into a building and make it some sort of multi-purpose. Think about it, if you were walking down this midway and you would see a museum or a restaurant or some sort of gift shop, I think this would be a very touching fit to the park, and I really think it would be a more welcoming fit as opposed to just this dry and very unattractive area right now. And for the final plot of the video, because I really struggle to look at other empty plots of land in the park besides those two, there is an area that is right in between the station of Stormrunner and the final lift of Trailblazer, and I really think that this would be a great fit for a brand new ride. So, while researching this video, I was thinking, yeah, we should definitely put a flat ride in here. And I was thinking of some normal family style flat ride, but then I realized there is a major gap that is in this park, and that is the fact that this park does not have a single inverting flat ride. Now, when I'm talking about inverting flat rides, I'm just talking about flat rides that go upside down multiple times, and most parks really have this, but Hershey Park is currently lacking. And with their great relationship with Zamperla, and the recent expansion with the nebulas, I truly think that the best fit here would be a Zamperla Super Air Race. Or maybe just a regular air race, but a ride in the air race family. I feel like this would be a great fit here, and it would fit the area well, and it would also fit the park well in addition. But anyways, let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Do you think I got these predictions smack on? These aren't necessarily 100% predictions, but... These are just one-off guesses based off of the empty lands and the past relationships with parks. This is a very unpredictable park as it is an independent park, but nonetheless, I wanted to do this video anyway. Until next time, this is Cedar Flags and I'll see you all later.